Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And this episode, we're gonna be installing these uh, hood struts, and uh, we're gonna be putting them on uh, 2001. These are, I believe, I think these are from my 2001. I'm not 100% sure. They were kind of laying around, and uh, this one I took off from my. I don't know if it was that one or that one. I don't know. There's. They're two different sizes, but the holes are different too. So, we'll see what we can do. All right, so the McNasty kit, it does come with this bracket right here, which goes between the hood and the, uh, yeah, between the hood and the hood hinge. And then you got, and then you got the, the strut. I don't know which way, I don't think it matters which way. Maybe this way. So you got the hood strut that goes like this and then mounts it right here to one of the brackets from McNasty. So, but in my case, I actually used washers underneath the the hood hinge right here. So uh, basically, you need to raise the the hood hinge either here or add the spacer here between the hood and the hinge because you need that um, raise to not hit the fender. Since I already have everything lined up, you know this is all uh, good to go. The hood is lined up. All the uh, the lines are good. The gaps are good. I like it. I'm not going to go ahead and mess with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and make my own bracket right here. And then what I'm going to do is mount this guy like that after I make the bracket. And then it's going to mount right here to the to the McNasty uh, bracket that goes here. I'm going to make a hole right here, drill it, and mount that like that. And one right here. The strut for the 2015 is completely different also because... Uh, it's mounted way over here, and then it's probably mounted somewhere over here. I don't know where, I don't have a um, truck to reference to, but it's mounted differently. But I needed this guy, so I took it out of here, and that's gonna work for my 2001 strut. And my 2001 has one, one bigger and one smaller uh, ball on the end. So this is gonna fit. Uh, as you can see, the threads are different. Uh, so I'm gonna use probably my bigger thread maybe over here and then smaller to i don't know i'll know I'll, I'll still play with it and then the lower one is going to be somewhere over here uh, so i'm going to go ahead and make uh, brackets right here and then i'll show you how it turns out
All right, so the struts are installed, but I already know where where I kind of messed up. So let me show you uh, what's going on. Here we go, I'm closing it down, and boom, maxed out. That's as low as they're gonna go. So yeah, and the reason I messed up is because I could not compress these by hand in order to measure where it should be on the bottom here with the hood closed and I couldn't find my original hood hinges. get now let's do it slowly okay still holding all right so that's good got plenty of room i think let's see if i can get from the inside i think we're almost okay well my my hand is barely fitting in there but i think we're I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Looks like we're good. I just don't know how much space we have left in there. Can't really, can't really see. Oh yeah, I think we're good. It's right, let's see if I can zoom in. Right there. Yeah, so we got plenty of room there. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Looks like it's perfect. All right, now let's see how she opens up. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we got it, boys. Come on. Yeah, we're good. Now, I don't have to use my uh, stupid stick to hold the hood up. Now I can just do that and do all the work I need to and the stick is not gonna be in my way and she's gonna be good to go. Now, like I said before, uh, the McNasty bracket would work here and this is about where it mounts, maybe a little bit lower. And I believe, I think that's the hole, maybe, I'm not gonna lie, I think that's the hole that maybe uh, this snaps into right here. This will be bolted in here. Maybe, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, but I'm not gonna lie, but since I already, you know, did my own thing because I couldn't find the, the McNasty bracket. And then I already did my own thing over here, adding washers to raise the hood because that's why I need the bracket. And also the hood bumpers, I moved over to the left a little bit. Um, they could be mounted right here as well, or in this spot. I kind of chose it to do it this way. And then I found some uh, radiator support uh, bushings that I had, and I kind of screwed it in here to the hood that way when it's closing, it'll be pretty much sitting right on top of the bump stop for the hood over here on the bottom. And it's gonna be hitting this because this was not tall enough to actually hit this spot right here. This is why I added this rubber piece. And in this spot, it wouldn't be tall enough because this metal piece is higher over here. And this is what I end up doing and uh, whatever, it's working for me. And that way you have a little bit of a, you know, cushioning right here and some of the bump stuff right here. And then I can use it to adjust it a little bit and that'll be perfect. Now let's see how the hood closes down. There we go. And the gap is good here. Everything's lined up. And then the, the grill is lined up. The line is perfect here. I aligned the grill a little bit, pulled it out a little bit forward, and now everything is nice and straight. And I still have to fix that dent, obviously. Uh, but everything else lines up, everything's straight, everything's good. Now let's see how the hood is gonna open up. I connected the lever to the hood latch. And there we go. 2015 latch. I would suggest buying a new one just because I had to clean it and uh, the edges over there were kind of messed up on the bottom there. So it was kind of catching, so it wasn't 
it wasn't straight over there so i mean it is it, you know it is what it is they're probably like what 50 or 60 bucks you can probably even find one on ebay uh but also with the 2001 this lever right here is longer so you would have to either bend it or cut it uh but this one already came with a little you know rubber piece and um i already had it anyway so there was no reason for me to uh adjust the 2001 uh, hood latch so i cleaned it up looped it up and now it's good to go the hood is done cowl is done hood struts are done hood latch is done everything's looking good so yeah the next thing's left is i gotta find my wheel wells the wheel well covers mount them underneath tuck all the wiring plug in the headlights all that stuff so guys i hope uh, you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you in the next one